So I'm supposed to train up my own personal army to not only go invade others, destroy everything they hold dear, but I also need to protect and upgrade my own base with cannons, archer towers. This should be a good little time. And if you want to join me in Clash of Clans, there's a link in the description you can use to get it. Hop in and start destroying things on your own. Thank you, Clash of Clans, for sponsoring me to just earn resources and kill everything. Which, speaking of killing everything, probably need a little bit of you guys. And I see I've got two builders smiling at me very eerily, actually. Place an elixir collector down and then get me a gold mine down, please. The more money I have, the more I can just murder everyone. You can do it, Mr. Hammerman. Thank you. How you magically did that in that second, I'll never need to know. Go back home, buddy. Oh, I can upgrade these things. Gimme. That'll take one minute. Fine. I'll finish my army's training just a little bit early. Can I set more of these guys to train while I'm gone? Sweet. <laughs> Let's go kill someone now. Yeah, yeah. Take away my shield. I do not care. That's a lot of cemetery stones on this dude's base. You know what? It's fine. Deploy all my troops over here at his cannon and just randomly put these five around. How we doing? Man, we charging in, killing everyone. You guys seem pretty angry. You know what? That's good. I like that attitude. Oh, I forget that I just steal this dude's resources. Wow. Murdering people should just become the common norm at this point. Destroy the town hall. Blow it up. Give me my three stars. Thank you. All right. We done upgrading gold mines. Oh, they are sweet. What else can I put down? Oh, a cannon. Let me not make the same mistake that last dude did and die immediately. The more defenses, the better. So I think I can just keep putting troops in to get trained. And now I say I need 4,000 gold to upgrade my town hall, which kind of lets me have more of literally everything. Well, let's go simply get me more gold. Oh, this, this guy is much more well defended all of a sudden. I probably want to kill his mortar, so I'm going to send a decoy troop out there and then spam a bunch just right here, guys. Okay, well, hang on. I wanted you to go into the mortar zone. You know what? That's fine. You'll get it. The mortar's missing anyway, so. Break in. No, what? Why are you still attacking stuff on the outside? Guys, no, that's not mortar shells in but Okay, well, clearly I need to train these guys a little smarter next time because right now they're just getting murderized. Hey, at least I got 76 gold out of that, right? That's one way to rationalize it, I think. What is it? Gem box for a thousand elixir? Sure. This game's pretty sweet. I don't have to watch an ad after every time I attack something, which is nice. I don't really have that many pieces of my soul left. All right, so I need to build some form of wall defense because clearly that was the secret to surviving from that guy. Just keep on smacking these puppies down. All 25, but now I'm out of gold. Can I upgrade you guys more, please? I need you to get me gold faster. Thank you. Also train more troops. What is this stuff? Oh, I've got rewards. Oh, 2,000 elixir. Sweet. And I can almost get 2,000 gold. I just need more points. What are my challenges? Upgrade a gold storage. Upgrade my barracks. I mean, yeah, I, I can do that pretty quick. Oh, man. I got to spend one gem. I have 265. Of course I'm going to accept that. Upgrade the barracks too. Finish it. Thank you. This give me enough points that I needed. Did I get... Yes, 2,000 gold. Come here. Now I can upgrade my elixir storage and start to speed up, well, all the other buildings. Upgrade my elixir collector too, please. Because if I get 2,000 elixir, I can upgrade my army camp, which I'm assuming lets me kill more people with more soldiers. Think, look at all the new things I get if I upgrade my town hall. All right, team, here's the plan. Step one, drop five troops on this one cannon. Step two, drop the rest right here. I don't see a mortar anywhere on this screen, so I think I'm all right to just, well, troop dump. No, no, guys, you want to go for the archer. You want to go with the person shooting you, not the elixir. Okay, hang on, team. How are we doing over here? Are five not enough to kill one cannon? Oh, wait, I have two more troops. And busted. Thank you. <laughs> Glad I had those guys in the reserve. Will you please break in? No, now we're going to run all the way around. Really? This is what we're doing, huh? I mean, all right. I at least hit the gold storage before you guys die. There's 2,000 gold available to loot here, and I want it all. There you go. Now we're talking. How many troops do I have? Oh, there's just one guy left. I've also got, like, two soldiers hitting the town hall. Tell you what, I'll let this sit for a minute and 43 seconds, and we'll come back and see how much loot I actually do have. Survey says a victory is a victory. I will take it. Is it deserved? Probably not, but that is fine. 2,500 gold. I'm getting there. I just need 800 more elixir. This is fine. I can make my new soldiers though. 10 little warrior guys, 10 little archers. Claim this free reward of 10 gems. Thank you. Oh, 4,000 gold. All right, I'll start working on it by upgrading my elixirs. I can get 150 challenge points and I need 200 to get to the gold. Also, I have now learned there is single player battles. This is good because they're at least 
bit easier. And I can still get 1500 of each currency out of this. I mean, yeah, why would I not? And upgrade and don't upgrade, I guess. Oh, but I can upgrade my army camp for more troops. Immediately finish. Train up more archers and then immediately finish also. My base could use some work, but for right now, I'll accept it. That's fine. This will work. I'll destroy this person pretty easily, I think. Yeah, that'll be all of your resources, please. Thank you. That's two challenges done. Is that enough to... No, I need a hundred more. You know what? That's fine. I need to do a little remodeling anyways. It seems to me like if you instantly lose your town hall, you basically instantly lose the fight. So now my town hall is dead center. Probably pretty beneficial to do some tower placement things. Move these walls to protect my town hall. That'd probably be nice. Now, because I have two shooty mick blast face off things up here, I protected my cannon down low. This is probably pretty good for now, right? I hope. Anyways, upgrade my other elixir and that should be enough to earn the 4,000 gold I need. Wait, what is this loot card over here with a thousand random thingies in it? Yes, please. I'm only 800 gold from being able to upgrade. What'll happen first? I get 800 gold or nine minutes go by. I'm fairly certain I know the answer. Drop all my troops in a nice circular fashion, destroy his only defense, and much like the Grim Reaper holding a scythe over a wheat field, it's time to reap. Oh, beautiful victory. Wait, that maxed out all my storage stuff? Oh man, upgrade my town hall immediately. Finish these puppies and finish you, my friend. Town hall level three cost what? 25,000 gold. Oh man, that's fine. <laughs> I guess I'll just try and buy everything that I can. I got, oh, I can get another elixir miner. Yeah, get that. Buy another elixir storage. It makes sense. I just got the miner for it. Buy a laboratory for 5,000. Sure. Yeah, get that too. Well, I'm broke again. The good news is I can spend gems to get resources. Who'd have thought? Even though Clash of Clans doesn't have annoying in-game ads or really forcing me to buy anything in general, I'm still gonna do it. It's all about being better than some random strangers on the internet. All right, team, come on, get everything down. Get all my resources, all my defenses. This takes 11 million gold to buy. 14 million? How many upgrades are in this dang game? Also, I think if I just rush upgrading my gold storage, I can do something stupid by going back to the shop, going back to my resources, and filling them with gold. And time to claim my rewards. I got 4,000 gold. Thank you. 4,000 elixir. Thank you. I'm pretty much just rushing my way to success. And, you know, it works. Upgrade this town hall again, please. And immediately finish it. <laughs> Town Hall level four, baby. So many more goodies I can put down. Air defense, 22,000 gold. Just upgraded my town hall a second ago. All right, buy that too though, 38 gems. Yeah, we're good. Oh no, I'm out of gems now though. That's fine, there's always a way to get some more. Thankfully, I have an enlarged army camp. What is this, giant smash? Is that 100,000 of each resource? It's just kind of giving me a tutorial of some troops that I don't have yet, but I kind of really want them. Look at these giant hands he's got. Look at the fact that they're doing like literally no damage damage to my giants that is all of these guys are like still in the green except for that one guy who's in the red but we don't talk about him all right break the mortar and we're good goblins time to come get our you know a hundred thousand resources there's no time limit on this one so i'll just let it run down a few moments later i'll be taking my perfect completion if you please and all my gold is back in stock and oh i'm so tempted by all of these i mustn't actually let me buy another builder real quick sorry my accountant it's worth it though look at how many more fences I can buy. Also, the pack I had gave me 500 more gems so I can just clear out all of this. Get these stupid shrubs out of here, game. They're blocking my buildings. Also, I'm finding gems in them. I'm up gems, actually, since I've started doing this. Imagine how many I would have if I wasn't impatient. Also, what is this? A clan castle? I can make friends? I do love friends. Both the TV show and the people. I have, however, once again reached the point where I need to redesign my base some more. I think blocking in my cannon is a good start. Getting my mortar and air defenses set up nicely. I don't know what kind of soldier goes through the air, but I am a little worried to find out. I don't think I'm gonna have enough wall to cover the rest of my little shooty McTurret men, though. Actually, hang on. Move one there and move one there. Oh, it's a perfect fit! Now I need to move all my storages into the zone that will shoot everything, because I think this little translucent white space is where they can't place their troops. So the further out this is, the more time I have to shoot everybody. In this spring trap, I'll put you right there. My citizen 
Ravens are happy to die for my monetary profit. I didn't ask, but any citizen of mine should. There we go. Now they can only kind of spawn on the outskirts of all of my shooting McBlastum things, which is the ideal. Also, finish the mortar and finish my air defense and upgrade my other army camp. And actually, where's it at? Upgrade my barracks. And can I do it again? Yes. Can I do it one more time? Yes, I can. That's so many gems I just lost. It's fine. I'll also just upgrade some other defenses along the way. I've got the gold for it and the gems, thankfully. All to protect my own town hall? You know what? It'll be worth it. Oh, you can even upgrade the walls for a thousand gold each. I don't have that kind of money game. What are we doing here? All right, set some stuff to upgrade. And now it looks like I can have 120 troops set. Oh man, this will be good. All right, who wants it? That's so many walls right here. What kind of base is this? You know what? I won't dwell on it. I'll set my gladiator men to just kill everything and it'll all work out. Go, those gladiators are decoys. Instead, I will use these archers to be my main attack force. Wow, look at how many of them. <laughs> look at how fast stuff gets erased. It's a numbers game at this point. I don't care if I don't have any giant giants or explosive skeletons. I've got four million arrows flying at them at once. What more could I need? Hello, elixir storage. Don't mind watching you just drain down into my bank account. Look at it going up. <laughs> Yeah, this really is the perfect way to get resources, huh? Oh, there's a bomb! Oh, well, you know what? They're all alive. Well done, everyone. Drinks on me when we get back. In with those resources, upgrade some random stuff I've got lying around. It only makes sense. And I just cleared so many challenges. Oh, sweet rewards. Yep, thank you. I need 150,000 gold for my town hall, though. Probably means I need to upgrade my gold storage a bunch. Don't worry, just use the gems. It's fine. There goes 80 gems in those. So for my army, I think I want five giants, three wall breakers, ten goblins. Actually, Actually, make it five goblins, teen archers, and the rest can be little barbarians. All right, I've got three stars, two more, and I get a thing. Find me a good opponent game. No, this is not a good opponent. This is an opponent that looks like they can kill me. It's like the exact opposite of what I just wanted. Now is a perfect time for me to drop giants down. A wall breaker over here. They're still alive? That's fine. Drop my barbarians in. My giants are already dead. I get there was only two of them, but man, wasn't that awfully quick? Run goblins. I mean, really, it's just like once we destroy these two cannons and that mortar, what's going to stop us, you know? Okay, I, I can't help but notice I keep getting bombed by mortars. Hmm, maybe I need to rethink my strategy a little bit, and we can just try again. You know, maybe it was just bad luck of the draw. All right, go wall breakers. Get them. Yes, I actually blew a hole in here. Perfect. Go five giants. And if I send one barbarian to run through here, is there a bunch of traps? Yep, yep, that's a bomb. That's something else. This is fine. 21 archers on the outside walls to start breaking stuff down, and I'll just throw the nine barbarians in to help. It looks like the giants just kind of solely go for their defenses, which is handy as a huge giant distraction for what I need to do. And as long as, no, you guys need to focus the mortar. No. All right. Looks like I need a training montage. Time for a little off-screen grinding. Much later. So I spent about 10 minutes really getting my base as strong as I wanted it. And I've decided I just want to join a clan. Do some fun things in here, I bet. Starting out, Town Hall level 7, though. This is kind of pathetic. I mean, I've still got all these things like the Barbarian King to build. Sure, buddy. You can go down there. And a whole nother army camp I need to put down. Yeah, just instantly finished. Probably the most important thing I need to do, though, is get some better troops out. Couple dragons, couple wizards, a lot of barbarians. I think two healers. And you know what? For good measure, eight tiny little goblins. Hey, did I forget? that there's spells in the game. Spells provide all sorts of fun little benefits. And oh, look at this dude's base. Be a little tough. I kind of need to destroy everything around it to get inside. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to overwhelm him with all my troops. You got him, Barbarian King. Looking good, buddy. Go ahead, my Barbarian Distraction Army. Run around and break everything. Also, put a healer down. Also, have a healing potion. All right, in come the dragons, in come the wizards, and then my eight goblins, simply because throw another healer down for my dragons. Drop a healing potion here and just inside. Oh man, could really just level everything up to be stupidly broken in this game, huh? All right, buddy, hey, sorry about your loss, both of all of your citizens, troops, and everyone you love dear, and the one you just took against me. Maybe I should just make my own clan and we can just take over everything together. That does sound kind of fun. Maybe I should also get to like town hall level 15. I'm not even halfway there. Oh man. All right. If you want to join me on the journey, you can click the link in the description down below to get Clash of Clans for yourself. Or you can scan this QR code that I found on the back of a bus for some reason. Either way, another thank you to Clash of Clans for sponsoring this video. And if you need me, I'll just be spamming troops.